Thanks for joining me for another entry into my in-depth series. This one is for the Phase 2. I'm going to be featuring most of the balls that I travel with or the staples in my bag. Now, Most of these also happen to be balls a lot of people travel with, so if you're looking for some good new equipment or happen to have one of these sitting around but don't use it much, we're going to dig into the specifics and nuances. Starting with the core, the Velocity Core is strikingly similar to the Centripetal Core from the Marvel series from a number standpoint, and that's easy to recognize because the Marvel series was known for the blend of power and control and incredible versatility. Unfortunately, the original phase met a mixed reaction. It was a pearl, but it was really early and smooth, and that's not what most people think of or want in a pearl ball, so it was a little confusing to some. I was a big fan. I had a couple of them, just found another one. I love the heavy roll and how much room it gave me on the lane. A little outside and it'd come back without overreacting, a little inside and it'd just sit there. I know it wasn't what people were expecting, but I took it for what it was and absolutely loved it. I think this is the only ball that TX-16 Solid was used on, stateside anyway, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. The text sheet says it's all about traction and has an additive that increases the footprint on the lane, or basically increases the surface area of the ball in contact with the lane, but that doesn't give me a reference to R2S or some other well-known cover on the line. The funny thing is that people were suffering from some original phase lag and weren't sure about the P2, and while it was accepted well by the people who did give it a shot, it didn't do anything special, so I don't think it made a huge impression on anyone until people gradually started noticing that it just worked on everything. Whether it was the first ball out of their bag or the last, it came out at some point and worked really well when it did. They started showing up more frequently on tour where the IQ Tour had been the sport ball of choice before, and all of a sudden the value in this ball was finally realized. It was an amazing ball that kind of flew under the radar for a year or so, and then they were everywhere. The cover feels somewhere between R2S and Nano to me if I had to guess. It's got R2S responsiveness and control, but it's a Nano Strength cover. If they put NRG Solid on the Velocity Core, I'm not sure it'd be a whole lot different on the lane. This cover's just a bit longer and stronger. The core is in the same vein as the centripetal core like I mentioned, but this one seems a bit more continuous. The centripetal shares a lot of the same descriptions, but velocity just feels more aggressive. It's rolly and windy, and when the ball turns over, it goes, and it looks like it keeps gaining momentum. The Phase 2 is a ball you can get your hand inside of and feel confident in getting through it and projecting it, knowing that it's going to wind up quick and make it back up the hill without burning up. I think that's probably the crowning achievement of the most noticeable facet of this ball. The core keeps the ball moving and climbing. Most of the time I come more up the back of the ball to control the down lane motion. If I get around it, everything slows down and moves too much for me. If I do get around it, that makes me get deeper than I really should be, which sometimes causes late reaction out of the ball. With coming up the back of it more, I have to watch my angles. If I get the ball too far right too quick, it's going to burn up and straighten out, but if I play too close to the head pin, there's also a chance the ball won't have the time to wind up and drive. With the Phase 2, I don't really have to worry. I can play straight and come at the back of it and trust it's going to roll and pick up and drive without having to play the wet dry line to the right to get it to hook, and when I get deeper, I feel comfortable projecting it and knowing it's going to rev quickly and not give up. I think it's easy to see the difference on video when I'm throwing shots with this ball versus one I have to help out or manipulate a bit more. My hand is quite a bit quicker through the release, my speed is a bit faster, and my rev rate is actually up too because I can give it the business at the bottom with the ultimate amount of trust. The Phase 2 has a masterful blend of control, traction, power, and versatility, and it should never be discontinued. Whether you're a league bowler, a tournament bowler, or both, if you don't have one of these, you should seriously look into it. It won't fit all lane conditions, but I can't think of a bowler style that it wouldn't fit. Thanks for watching.